So I haven't done a video in like a week um, because this past week has been very exhausting for me. Um, as I have probably mentioned before, having my son for long periods of time is exhausting to me because I just do not have the necessary like energy levels to keep up with a very active three-year-old all day right so I didn't do videos and I don't really feel bad about it uh, but it does kind of suck because I know like consistency wise that really it hurts me Anyway, um, so for today I thought I would do a makeup video where I go through the steps of what I normally do when I'm going to do a full face of makeup, which is 100% like super extra right now because I'm not going anywhere, but whatever, it's fine, right? Um... So, as you see, with my hair all done, it likes to flop in front of my face, which is really just not at all conducive to, like, trying to do my hair, right? And actually, a lot of the time, I like to take this hunk, and I'll just, like, pin it up in the back. Um, but I can't find my bobby pins. So, today, so, what I'm gonna do is actually just kind of twist this whole thing underneath for now to get this out of my face and I'm just going to clip it up and out of the way because I need my whole face here right so I'm actually going to switch these around as well all right so roll up my sleeves because I do that I've got a little cotton round I've got some witch hazel um so remember how I told y'all I was really upset that the dollar store didn't have witch hazel and so I had to buy more? Well, I haven't even gone into the stuff that I bought at all yet because apparently I don't go through it nearly as much as I thought I did. Um, that being said, that's probably in part because I'm not as consistent with my skincare as I should be. Anyway, I just put some witch hazel on my pad and I'm just cleaning my face. Um, witch hazel acts as a natural toner in addition to a general cleanser. Um, like, I just washed my face this morning and this pad is not 100% clean. So, like, it's it's a really good cleaner. Because it's not like I've done a whole lot today. Um, we are in my bathroom instead of the living room. Because I need the bathroom lighting for this. Obviously. So, um. No, I'm all cleaned up. Alright. So, see that? That is not a clean pad. And that's kind of gross. And that's probably a little bit because I'm breaking out right now. Um. But. You know. Whatever. Foundation. I don't use concealers um because I don't like well I could probably benefit from them like to cover up like these couple little spots and whatever I never really had anybody like super teach me like how that works like I literally taught myself how to do makeup out of a theater book um so I just take one little squirt right on my finger there of the foundation and I just kind of do 
get it in between my fingers right like that. I'm gonna do a few little drops on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead and then I take some of this from my cheeks again to kind of thin it out. I'll put some on my eyelids. And <laughs> foundation it's their light ivory I think it's like their CC cream or whatever BB cream CC cream whatever my blush brush and I've got some bronzer going on uh, my bronzer and blush and <laughs> create a sh basically the outline for your face and then with the blush I went just right on the apples of my cheeks and I, I am very lucky to have cheekbones for days so I don't really have to smile a whole lot to make it show up right but you smile and it's here's the apple and you kind of just draw it back towards your towards your ear so I, I like to I'll just blot it on the apple and then blend it outward. Um, that also saves me the time of having to then actually do a whole lot of blending. See if I suck it in. I go right underneath the cheekbone and I go up to my temples. And I go down just underneath my neck bone, right? Because that helps create basically the outline for your face and then with the blush I went just right on the apples of my cheeks and I, I am very lucky to have cheekbones for days so I don't really have to smile a whole lot to make it show up right but you smile and it's here's the apple and you kind of just draw it back towards your towards your ear so I, I like to I'll just blot it on the apple and then blend it outward. Um, that also saves me the time of having to then actually do a whole lot of blending, right? Because I am lazy. Um, so after that, then I've got hair on my eyelashes. Got fuzz all over my household because I have two cats. You know this. You've seen them both. They are adorable and obnoxious. <sighs> K. 
Okay, now it is time for eyeliner, and this is gonna probably be my last use of this eyeliner. Good thing I got more. Cause I got, you see that, that little bitty bit left. That's not even in focus. Um, I don't know if, no, you guys haven't seen my bathroom before. So the way I have this set up, you are literally perched inside the medicine cabinet. Um, so there's a mirror right here and you're right here. So I'm going to be looking next to you a lot and you're going to see this wonderful little bit of baby hairs that I got sticking up in the middle of the universe. Um... And then I do this one. This one is the obnoxious one. Keith does not enjoy watching me do my makeup because, uh, he thinks it's gross. Um, that being said, he thinks a lot of things are gross. So, then I do this one. going to be the last use I get on that so it's just going to go right in the garbage plop just like that um so I started watching Dr. Pimple Popper yesterday <laughs> on Hulu sort of as punishment because it was Mother's Day it was Mother's Day and we didn't do shit My son is three years old. He does he's not at all in the realm of understanding what Mother's Day is. So I'm really I'm not too mad at him. I'm I was a little but I was mad at Keith because like it's Mother's Day, right? Like I'm I think I think I'm within my bounds to be a little salty that nothing was done. So Oh, you're gonna see my very, you're gonna see my makeup board. Here's my makeup board. So this one is the bronzer that we used and these are the two tones of uh, blush that we used. So again, I used to sell Mary Kay. So this is all the stuff that I had left over um, because I'm just, I'm not a natural salesperson. Um. And again, all of this stuff, I guarantee you, I've probably had longer than I should have. But I'm gonna use it anyway, because it's really good makeup. And I take good care of my brushes, and I take good care of my skin. So, theoretically, this stuff isn't completely gross. So, for all y'all that are like, ew, she's gross, she's using like probably expired makeup. You are not wrong. Doing it anyway because I am pretending that I am not disgusting. Anyway, so, I really like, as you can tell, I have a cluster of colors that you can totally tell I use a fucking lot, right? Um, so I like th this one as my highlighter color. So because now I'm going to start in on my eyeshadow. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to use a large eyeshadow brush. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do right under my eyebrows, which, fun fact, I wax and tweeze myself. And I'm gonna do right here, right on the 
inside of my eyeball. And this isn't going to be like a fun little, like fun look. This is literally just my functional, I need to look nice for a thing, kind of a look, right? And then I'm going to go right under the eye, eyebrow. And I'm going to go right in the corner, right there. And I'm going to draw it up to the eyebrow. And have a nice little highlighted little look. And this is 100% not at all what I do for my daily look. We have discussed this before. When I am just going to work, if I do anything at all, I do brows, eyeliner, one and two, which we have not gotten to the second eyeliner yet. Um, and I do mascara. And I'll wear a tinted lip balm. Which might not even be a tinted lip balm. Because lately, I have been using the Burt's Bees Pomegranate. Oh, if I use a white colored chapstick over and over and over again, it makes my lips white. Because I have naturally low iron levels, so I tend to be like super washed out a lot of the time. So... I'm wearing a blue shirt today. Let's do blue today. Yeah, we'll do blue today. Okay, so generally, how I do this, do this, okay, English, is I will take the lightest shade I have which is right there and I'm gonna do all three of these colors because I have no life all right and we're gonna do my falsies today I think we're gonna putz with the falsies today probably because I can so I'm gonna take this like I said this lightest color azure azure blue whatever I'm gonna put some on my brush just like, you know, normal, I think. See, that's what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> distinct lines and then blend from there blend all of that person because that vexes my soul <sighs> so I have to look at it while I'm doing stuff right so I'm gonna get the extra stuff off of this brush because I'm gonna use it again because this is how I function right and I am literally just using a baby wipe because I have a million of them and I will continue to buy them even once Bruce is 100% done needing them. Which he's actually pretty close. We did not have any accidents this week that I can remember. So if we had them, they were not memorable ones. And that's all that matters, right? It's just that it's not memorable. Oh, I didn't bring any lipsticks out with me, damn it. Oh well. Uh... So then we do this next color, and this is this beautiful sapphire blue. It's like my favorite shade of blue in the universe. As you can tell from my shirt, right? All right, so we're just gonna literally do the same thing in here. Get a little bit on our brush. See how, look, how pretty that is, yeah? And we're gonna go right next to it here, and we're gonna go not quite all the way out to the outside edge of where we're gonna be, 
with our color, but we are going to do pretty close to it. this off because like I said I'm gonna do a really good cleaning maybe that'll be tomorrow's video tomorrow we'll do a really deep cleaning I'll show you how y'all all y'all how that works right so I'm gonna brush all of this excess off here and I might regret doing that because I feel like from the state of how this brush was maybe I'm gonna get a lot more off of my brushes than I really think I am but we'll see. But now I'm going to use an angled shadow brush. You see that? Yeah. So. Now we're going to take this darkest blue color. I think it's midnight or something. I don't even know. I don't know. But we're going to use it anyway. gonna get some on my brush and we're gonna get uh, uh, mm. with the angle with this angle brush I tend to get like when I when I just brush it on there I tend to get some up around the edges there so then what I'll normally do is I'll like I'll, I'll get my color and I'll do just normal like brushing it and you can't even see <laughs> brushing it on there and then I'll just kind of dab off the edges there a little bit, right? Because I don't have extra color where I don't really want it. Right? And we're gonna go right here on the edge here. We're gonna go... I like to drag my color out a little bit. Out and up. Right up to here, which is kind of infiltrating on that lightest color, it's like pretty much that midpoint of where that lightest color is. <laughs> because again I'm aware that I'm 100% being like super lazy about this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this baby wipe I'm gonna be a little sketchy here and we're just gonna dab 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 and we're gonna straighten out this line here because what you want because you see this is all smudged here what you want is this bottom line up to your eyebrows it is your line for your eye makeup so I need to clean that up in there. So what I'm going to do, because I waste everybody's life away, and I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I'm going to use this baby wipe. I'm just going to clean that up. And see, now I don't have foundation there, so now I'm going to have to put new foundation on. <sighs> but that's okay. 
because I think I've mentioned before that when I do makeup, I'm probably taking way longer than I should. I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna go straight from here and I'm gonna go oh, straight line, oh, straight line, straight line, straight line. And obviously, that's a super harsh, not totally accurate line. And I'm gonna fix it, but right now my main goal is to clean up my lines and then I'm gonna do the new foundation there and then I'm gonna do fixing yeah all right so now I can fix these lines right so again and that's beautiful right yeah and then we're gonna do just the littlest bit. See, there's just a littlest bit of eyeshadow on here. It's barely, it's like not even visible, but it's enough that it will clean up my lines. Right. And then it'll help clean up my look, right? So we'll get that off. And what I'm gonna actually do now we're gonna go with that highlighter color again. And we're gonna go that is a lot. I'm actually gonna use a slightly lighter color this time. Right up under the brow. Right up under the brow. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Right in the corner and right up under the brow, under the brow, under the brow, and right in the corner again. And look at this beautiful eyeshadow here. Look at how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. Part of me is like, if you put some green in there, you could pretend you were going for a peacock look. And the other part of me is like, mm, but that's a lot of work. So we're going to do it anyway, because I'm me and I do that. So now I've got an eyeliner brush out, and I'm going to go ahead and I've got an eyeliner brush out, see. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get, get it a little damp and whatever. And this is the one I really struggle to get all the way clean all the time. I'm gonna get it a little bit damp and we're gonna go and I'm gonna use this beautiful I think I'm going for this lime green today we're gonna go ahead and try this and I'm just gonna get it right on the tip here right see right on the tip there I'm not even really trying to use the brush part I'm gonna go underneath this beautiful light blue we have. No, no, we're going to use the brush part. Right underneath it like that, and we're going to go right up along the edge in the corner here. This is what we're going to do. it that one step further I would have I would had I thought about it before I would have just done this this green this uh, the sapphire blue and then I would have done like a deep purple on the outside
outside instead of the midnight blue. Ooh, I could still do purple liner on the bottom. See, this is why I don't play with makeup because then I get all adventurous and I'm like, ooh, but I could still do it this way. All right, so I've got this purple here, right? And we're gonna use this really dark one, okay? And we're gonna use the eyeliner brush. We're, we're, we're basically just gonna do eyeliner on the bottom in purple. Okay. I hate doing eyeliner on the bottom here, but we're gonna do it anyway because I love you. Okay. I go from the top of my lashes because trying to go underneath them, I end up bumping off more powder than it's really worth and then it's almost impossible to clean up well. And it's really just exhausting for me. So this is going to be really quite um, a subtle touch. And what I'm going to do, because I can, is I'm actually going to also, because I can be extra here, because again, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this up along the bottom here and we're gonna merge it with these top colors here like that see and then i'm gonna keep going in here i'm gonna just make this a really nice line right right and then I'm just gonna match that on the other side try to match this on the other side once again I'm not a professional makeup artist I just kind of posit things and I'm not bad at it um there are a lot of things that I'm not a professional at all but I am pretty good at it and I can probably help you um like today um I gave my boyfriend a haircut I'm not a professional hairstylist but I am good enough at hair that I can make you presentable until you can pay someone to do it for you until you can go out and pay a professional to do it so Again, we're just gonna match this on this side and we're just going because i want to put mascara on i'm not really too worried about getting powder on my lashes um at the very least i'm much less worried about getting powder on my lashes than i am about getting powder all up on my already noticeable dark circles right so i'm actually gonna go ahead and just keep doing this um if anyone of you have really noticed i have a hard, the hardest thing i have i have to do with when doing my makeup for my eyes is that <sighs> my eyes aren't really even so I have to pick my battles on what part of even I really want to try and go for. Um, so I really, like that is the biggest battle I have. Um, any of you that know me, this I really like to squint a lot sometimes, and this one will be like right, really super wide open, so I'll have like a droopy eye look going on sometimes. And this one just tends to be rounder. So getting an even look for me is sometimes really a struggle where I don't look ridiculous. And a lot of the time I'm just doing the best I can. And most of the time it works out quite well for me. Okay, that's done. So, ta-da, on to eyebrows, and then we'll do the top eyeliner, which is just going to be black powder, or, uh, I have a matte black eyeshadow that I use when I'm doing this. Actually, no, now that I think about it. The gel liner will probably be better for this. I did not have a gel liner for the longest time because I really could not wrap my head around how the hell that is supposed to work. Where is it? Our bright brow liner. And we just go right. And I just do it this way. I go right along the top line here. And I go right along the bottom line here. And then I kind of fill 
land in the middle. Um, I have a dark blonde pencil because it's a nice little happy po middle point for me. Um, I find that if I get a dark brown liner, my eyebrows come out way more intense than I really want them to. I have a really hard time not feeling like I overdid it. Um, so I go for the dark blonde shades and a lot of the time because I am bleaching my hair right now. It works out all right. I'm probably not going to get this particular one again uh, because I don't care for the undertone on it. I feel like it's very... I feel like it has a very yellow undertone and I don't really... it doesn't... I don't care for it. Um... And that's very much so a me thing. Then I get... Now I need to get out a couple things. I've got my false lashes here. I've got the glue here. I've got my gel liner. And I've got my mascara. And the mascara's main goal right now is just to get any powder off of my eyelashes. I'm not really too worried about, like... having a really big bold look right now so I've got my gel eyeliner I've got pull it out and I kind of just get the excess off and then we're just gonna I like this because I don't have to pull my eye out at all which is probably bad for your face I don't know There we go. See? Just a really quick little simple line. Um, if you notice, I start kind of in the middle and then I'll draw a line out and quick little swipe out to get that really nice little line. That's actually one of the better lines I've had. And then I kind of work my way towards the middle. Um, it's kind of how I do it. Not kind of, that is how I do it. So then I'm gonna get no dab on my brush. I'm gonna get the excess off, put my little bottle down, and then I just do the same thing on this side, which I hold my brush this way for the other side. And on that side. Oh well. And then... No! So I get looking at the camera. Huh. So what I did is I looked at the camera while I was applying and I ended up shifting my eye into the brush and fucking it up. But whatever. Is it especially noticeable from back here? Yes. So. Now's the fun part. Um, I've got this white eyeliner here. And I'm just going to real quick go... over the gel with it. And what this is basically doing is while not drastically changing the color underneath, see that? It cleaned up that line really nicely. And now it's not even noticeable. Right? So Basically, I just used white eyeliner as an eraser. Ta-da! It's like it never happened. Um, this is also why I don't do my face often. Because this, for a full face look, I'm sitting at 53 minutes right now. Ha! Alright. I got some gel on my eyelash. I can feel it. It's heavy. I don't like it. Anyway, so now we're going to do the mascara on um, my natural lashes. And this is important that you do this 
before you put on your false teeth because you really don't want to get makeup all over your false lashes because then you gotta clean them up and it's just a pain in the butt. Um, I mean, you're gonna have to clean them anyway, so you can get like the makeup, the glue off, but it's a lot easier on everybody. I guess I'm 100% of those people that were doing my makeup and wig the whole time. Um, alright, so this is 100% like where I would normally cut it off, but I have false lashes that I decided to really play with. But yeah, so this is 100%. Add some lipstick. Let me see if I can find some. Hold on. Alright, so I got some colors. Here we go. So we're gonna do, because I'm an extra person, we're gonna do, this is, I don't even have the color name, v Berry something? I don't know. Lipstick. So we're gonna go. With this purple lipstick. I know, I'm so very, very extra. Okay, so I've got this uh, red passion lip gloss. I'm gonna go right over it with it. Because I can. And it doesn't alter the color drastically. But it does have a little bit of sparkle that I like. So once again, as discussed, I would be 100% fine stepping out to an event just like this, even with my wings, not 100% even, because that is in part due to the uneven shape of my eyes, right? Um, as previously discussed, but also, as previously discussed, we're gonna do falsies today. So, got my falsies, I just took the cover off, I've got my glue and what I want to do next actually next time I buy falsely the, 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 buy falsies is I want to invest in the magnetic ones because then I think I could wear them to work because like they don't like I haven't had problems with my falsies like melting I've had problems with the glue wearing off and them falling off during the day so what I'm gonna do is I got this glue and I'm just gonna put it, there's a little band on here. I'm gonna put it right on that band. Now I like this glue because it is black so it blends in with my eyeliner. Some glues I've seen like, I don't know why anybody would make white eyelash glue. That makes no sense to me at all because in what universe is that going to like blend in and look natural? We're going to put that cap right in there. Sorry, I had to like really. Ah! Dropping things. Alright, alright. So, I don't have an applicator for this shit. I know I could use tweezers, but I feel like I'm much better with doing my fingers. So we take this outside edge here where it's the longest. And you match it up to the end of your eyelashes. And you just Just like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and get on with it. I look kind of like a drag queen today, and I'm okay with that. Okay.
just hold it in place until it stays like this right now because I already did my eyeliner you see how nice that is that's not like a like holy shit there's like a distinct extra line right there that one went on really fucking nicely let me tell you my face is gonna have to recalibrate to this though that's gonna be the hard part I'm gonna have to take some Instagram photos for this um, and I'm gonna try to link my Instagram for y'all so you can see that, but I mean, you're seeing the actual video of the making of, so I mean, I don't know that y'all necessarily need to see the Instagram photos, but you know, I can always use more followers on Instagram too, right? Make myself Instagram famous. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Or whatever. I don't know. But there we go. We have back on that glue. Alright. Go. There we go. Go. Grab. Herder. Now I've got this really pretty light purple that I'm going to use because I really want to. And I can. So I'm just going to go. We're going to try to go. Right above that purple that we did before. Because again, I'm extra as fuck. And then we're gonna take this line over here, put it down on here. And it is so subtle, but do you see how pretty that shit is, y'all? Mmm, I like it. And then I gotta match it on the other side. Alright, so this is the completed look. It's very extra, but I super fucking love it a lot too, man. I like it a lot. I'm super happy. I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna have to go and do some Instagram photos now, and then I can edit this video, even though there's not really a whole lot of editing to do, I don't think. Um, but try to get some of this length down, some of this, I could probably speed it up a bit so you don't have to watch me putzily apply some shit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but this is, this is the complete, <gasps> oh my goodness. This is the completed look. Let's let my hair down so I can really be living my extra life here. All right. I like it a lot, you guys. So with that, that is what I've got for y'all today. So, peace and love. I'm out.